Hello, my name is Jordan, and today we're looking at NIMBY Rails again. Um, I did jump in to making this episode pretty soon after the last one. I don't know, the, the improvements from the dev uh, to the game just really make me want to get in and play some more. Um, and I happen to have some time, so I um, have... Uh, been busy the last couple of months. That's been a big part of not making videos. But um, I have the time now and I just want to keep playing. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Um, it did take a little while after, um, while the video was exporting and all that good stuff, kind of thinking about what to do next. Um, you know, I toyed around with the idea of just kind of letting the simulation run um, for a bit build up some uh, some more balance, maybe pay off some of the loans. But um, I kind of was thinking that it would be good to kind of make this local line, uh, the West Coast local, uh, make more sense. And it would make more sense if it kind of went to the same places that the Express went, uh, but stopped more frequently. Um, so that is something that we can accomplish with relatively little capital investment. Um, you know, building this whole Seattle line cost, I, I can't remember, it was like two and a half billion or something like that. Uh, but we should be able to get away with an extremely cheap comparatively, um, implementation of the West Coast local. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm thinking that see what I really want to do is I want to hit this Vancouver station and then join up and then hit Ridgefield mm. Probably not Woodland, but definitely, definitely Kelso or Longview, one or the other. Um, probably Kelso, and then we'll do a tram into Longview. Um, maybe Castle Rock. Um. Uh, I went camping just out here not that long ago. That was very relaxing. Actually, it was over here near Silver Lake. Um, uh, Winlock is extremely small, so is Nwakam, but Chehalis in Centralia. So, so we could do station in Centralia and then branch up this way towards Olympia. The thing is that if we commit to doing that, then in this episode we need to build quite a bit of rail, and some of it will be very complicated. Because um, if we go up to Olympia, then we kind of need to take it all the way to Tacoma, and then from Tacoma rejoin over here. Um, or I guess join down here would be the correct way to handle that. Uh, right there. So, I guess if we did that, we could stop at Puyallup too. Hmm. I don't know. I've kind of given up on making these episodes short. <laughs> I just don't think that that's... That's just not going to happen. So... Uh, let, let's, let's see how far we get. All right, so first, um, I think we'll skip this Vancouver line, it, uh, or connection. It is connected into the city center, so if somebody wants to, it's going the wrong direction and everything, but if somebody wants to go Vancouver to Seattle, they can go to Portland first. So we'll start up here in Ridgefield. Now, 
to simplify this process, um, I think I'm going to do most of these stations as underground stations. So we'll do double track. Don't need the scissor. Um, and we will do this. Uh, and we only need about 300. Okay, like this. And let's high speed ground. All right. Hmm. I wonder if I should build a complicated intersection here, like uh, with an actual flyover. Sure, why not? All right. So this is here. So we'll do this. And we'll do this. All right. Now, what we need is, ah, oh, it's already selected. So this, we don't need to be quite as concerned about uh, about the speed on these. I mean, these interchanges are going to be slow. That's just the way the interchanges are. So we'll viaduct over the top here. Transition back to ground. All right. This goes up. Nope. Don't want to do that. This will bring it to there. And now, excellent. I think, actually, I think we can get almost all the way up there on the ground, which is fantastic. So now we'll switch to the double track. And we'll do this. Just make a little segment. So now we have somewhere to connect to. Do that and that. All right. And we don't want this. So we want it only going that direction and only going this direction. So there and there. Excellent. Um, and we'll come back and we'll signal the, bl the block area um, in just a bit. Huh. How is that not an overpass? OK, well, something to think about later, I suppose. Uh, double track. All right. And it should just automatically transition, right? Oh, that's a little, that's a little weird. So we'll delete that. Delete that. Go back and try that again. This. Now we'll select the tunnel so that we can actually transition to it. And then there we go. Um, yeah. There we go. It's good. Now this needs to go up this way. Ooh. Getting under these roads. Ridgefield is far, far too small to um to actually have an underground <laughs> anything. Um Ridgefield is tiny. Um I have family that lives there, so I I know this area 
pretty good as well, but this area is tiny. This is more just for flavor and a nice place for us to stop with our local line. But um, yeah. I, I think it's going to be in our interest to tunnel, though, well, just as far as getting to the location we need to get to. All right, so we'll get to there. Um, and then um, let's bring this back just a little bit. Okay. Now switch to ground. We'll bring it up. Excellent. And now turn off the double. We'll do the same thing over here. I was thinking for a second if there was going to be a way for me to improve the speed coming off of this branch, but it's not really that important. So we'll this out a little bit, switch it to viaduct. Take it back to ground. That one straight in, and bring that one straight in. There we go. Um, now we want to line those up, and we'll do the same thing down below. The other one, make sure we get the this way and this way, and this way and this way. Excellent. All right, so now let's actually signal this correctly. Um, we need this and this and a block. Right, right there. All right, and a block right here. And a uh, no, actually, we don't need we don't need to signal this one because this is the exit. So uh, it's just the entrances that we need to signal in this way um, because we're doing the flyover. That is, um, in fact, the point of a flyover is that you only need to signal the merges. Right. So, signal the merge, signal the merge, and then put our block right there. Okay. So this is only sixty-six million. It's pretty good. Uh, okay, what's what's up with these? 20 kilometer? Oh, these are facing the wrong direction. That's, that's no good. Yeah. Yeah, these need to be facing the other way. How embarrassing. Flip. Flip. There we go. Yes, now that's working correctly. <laughs> All right, um, so we have a Ridgefield station. Now the next one, we were going to skip Woodland, but we were definitely doing one in Kelso. So what we'll do for this is... Uh... Oh yes, the airport. Hmm. Where do we want to put the station? I suppose right here. I'm trying to think of the entrance and exit that we're going to get on that. 
think it's going to have to mostly be underground, which is kind of a shame. Okay, well, no way to get around it. Uh, double tracked, don't need the scissor. That's good. And now this is going to be a lot simpler in general because it's going to be almost entirely underground. So, aren't going here. Going there. And we're going to try and join up. Guess like this is what we'll do. And then we'll branch down here. All right, and then this one needs to come over. And we'll try and get in right about here. All right, so let's bring this above ground. Hmm. Bring this above ground. All right, and then branch, turn off the double, put it back here, and the other side. Viaduct, this. And that. This. Okay, and now we should be able to take this straight into there, and this straight into there. All right, and then we just signal these. Uh, so the merge is this side. So signal, signal, block, and set, and then up here. Do the same thing. Here. The other side. All right. Let's just get this built. Round. All right. This. Uh, no. There we go. That. There. And now just signal these. Maybe adjust this a bit. That's a odd looking turn. Well, it's cutting it tight with the uh <laughs> with the viaduct. Uh, but it's okay. So then we want signals for the merge, which is this way, this way, and this way. There we go. I'll just put a couple of these one ways in. Uh, okay, like this, like this, and like that. Some one ways down here as well. Uh, 
All right. And that should be that. So now we have our Kelso. All right, so what's our next one? Probably Centralia. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I think, um, I think we should do this in a kind of a progressive um, as we go kind of way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a terminus station. Do that by having the scissor intersections uh, for the double platforms. And I'm going to set this up so that the trains can turn around. Um, that may not be the best spot for it. Uh, Centralia might be a better spot. Eh, it's about the same. So we'll set it up over here. Uh, we want this to be underground. About 350. So we'll do it right there. And um, we'll branch it. Okay, well... First, let's bring this here. And we have the double selected, go straight down this. Like this. OK, so now it's set up to the side. We can make our, our interchange over here. Um, but the idea is that in the future, we'll take this Centralia station and we'll take the line up this way and make it into the new loop that goes up through Olympia and uh, probably DuPont, Tacoma, and Puyallup. And then it joins right here and then goes to Seattle. So for now, what we'll do is we'll just have the line turn around in Centralia. And that's what these uh, scissor interchanges are for. It allows it to be a terminus. I mean, we discovered that in our last um, our last one as well when I did that incorrectly. I had to go back and fix it. Um, but once we connect these, uh, I think we'll actually already be ready to uh, to update the line, which is exciting. Um, this goes really quick when you have the infrastructure all set up. Excellent. OK, so it changes to viaduct. Right, and back to ground. Now, realistically, I could actually be doing these as the medium speed ones. They cost less. Um, and I'm not going over those speeds anyways, because I'm using them as part of an interchange. But um, to be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> um, so uh, I have created enough abundance um, in my game that I'm, I mean, I don't have to, I don't have to min max in that way. Um, okay. So we'll bring this up here. Excellent. Um, and we'll grab this and bring this up to there. So that we have the common tunnel entrance, uh, which looks much better. OK. So we just added three new stations um, that span. This is probably a total travel distance of, um, hmm. Maybe 150 kilometers 
for, you know, 224 million, um, including three underground stations. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, well, hold on here. Two above ground stations. Where did we make those? This is an underground station. Oh, this is an above ground station. Well, that's not very realistic. All right. So we need to fix that. Underground station. Doesn't need to be that long. Uh, it does need to be doubled, though. Uh, we don't need that. Okay. Here we go. All right, and then these are going to be simple. We just connect it like that. Connect it like that. All right, so we fixed it. Now this is an underground station. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, I still need to go and rename. There's so many stations that have bad names. I need to need to fix all that. Um, I'll do that eventually, though. All right. So build it, and they will come. That signaled. That signaled. Did we signal this last one? We signaled this is the merge, yeah, uh, and we signaled, oh, no, 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 we don't want you, okay, so let's, let's check this out, um, we do not want that. So waypoint here. Cannot find path. What in the world are you talking about? Let's pause. What is going on? Delete that. All right, so did I do these intersections incorrectly? Hmm. All right, well, let me pause the recording. Um, I will take a look at this and try and figure it out. All right, I am not quite sure what was causing that. Um, I did the same thing that I was doing before. I just selected waypoints um, and got them, got them there. Uh, but it works this time, so I'm I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Um, now, I know that in a previous version, uh, having waypoints would mess up the fare calculations. I'm not sure if that's still the case. So we'll have to see if this affects the, the profit on this one. But anyways, uh, so from Portland, this is O. All right, so it comes into here, here, and this one can join up. Um, hmm. 
We're going to have to do signaling up here as well. That's kind of annoying, but we'll deal with it. Um, OK, so from Portland, uh, we want to go up and we'll go to Ridgefield and this one. And then from Ridgefield, we'll go to Kelsa. And from Kelsa to Centralia. Yeah. Excellent. And now back to Kelso. Back to Ridgefield. Back to Portland. Uh, oh, I passed. <laughs> passed Portland. Uh, this one. All right. And then Salem. And then from Salem back to Portland. Okay. Excellent. Now we probably want, let's see, closed. Well, is it? I didn't see what it was before. 43 minutes between trains. That seems a little excessive. Um, okay, so we'll add some more of these. Um, And yeah, a thousand. That's what we want. Um, yeah, four more, please. Twenty one, twenty one minutes, twenty minute intervals. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, well, let's unpause it and see how this works. I suppose we actually want to signal this before an accident happens. <laughs> um, okay. So, do is this and this here there. Okay. Um, and that'll be good enough for now because we know which directions they're going and, and when they'll meet up and, and so on. Um, or actually, we do want this uh, yeah, actually we're going to have to do it in both directions. Like this. So, just add one right here. Why not? All right. And what? This. Excellent. Um, and simple block. Yeah. So only one train can be in there at once. That's exactly what I want. Okay. 
is looking pretty good so far. Yeah, look at that. Centralia. Nice. Nice. It's working well. And I think this is the last one that's stacked up and waiting. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so what do we have here? Uh, oh no, we want this. Yeah, group by no trips. Interesting. Cool. Well, that looks like it's going well. Our West Coast Express line is certainly doing well uh, with the changes that we made. So that's encouraging. Uh, let's take a look over here. Well, let's turn that off and then look at this. So West Coast Express. Uh, oof. We might... That's a lot of... There's a lot of utilization. But that's good. I mean, it's not sitting idle, if that's the case. Um, hmm. Look at that. All right, so Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So let's run it a bit and see how uh, how well this performs on a Friday now that we've added these new stops and extra trains. Our money is certainly going up quickly. It's always nice. And there's always that lull in the middle of the night when nobody's traveling by train. All right. So let's see. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Seven million. Okay, not bad. Um, let's see, boarded train 32,000. Boarded train 30,000. Okay. So that's about what you would expect um, as far as additional ridership. We added about 2,000 additional passengers. Um, but these are all very small stations. Um, so it makes sense that we wouldn't be adding that many. I had hoped we'd maybe generate a bit more than that. But that'll pick up quite a bit once we take this line through Olympia and DuPont and uh, Tacoma and so on. Because uh, these are much larger. These are much larger locations. Portland to Tacoma, it, like in Olympia by itself, will be pretty, pretty heavily trafficked lines. Man, 54%. Waited too long. Compensated. So we might actually um, we might actually need to increase the number of trains on this line. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, one. Okay. Let's add two more trains.
and look at our line. Okay, so that dropped wait time even further. And now we're gonna have this uh, this kind of backup for uh, six hours, eight hours, somewhere around there, while everything catches up. Oh, wonderful. Now we're actually seeing the uh, the benefit of the utilization of having this this line that we built um, that we put such careful planning into. Um, well, we put the 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 largest amount of planning into this this section of it, but still um, having this alignment here made that so simple so easy and it took just the smallest bit of thinking ahead when we were doing the the seattle line and this is why i put the effort into kind of planning how i wanted to do that because i knew that i had this this local line the local and the express line and i i was going to do something with that um so you know just doing that little bit just makes your life so much easier later on just like, uh, you know, going for that little bit of realism in how I structured the transfers really helped me um, when the game updates came in. Um, this was all ready to be generating lots and lots of trips with the way that the game was redesigned um, or that the calculations were changed. So, um, you know, this is this is why I always just do do what I want <laughs> as far as like how I structure things. It's, uh, it's usually worth it. And in the end, I get to enjoy what I do, which is, you know, kind of why you play games. Okay. Well, it looks like that's going really well. That's uh Well, capacity used is way down now. But uh, let's see, ported train. Those are some great looking rider numbers. Wow. Yeah, and those Seattle subway lines are, are looking really good too. Excellent. All right. Well, I think that is it for this episode. Um, maybe next. Oh, we never got this. That's going to bother me. Delete those. Yes. Um, so next time I think we'll tackle the, the extending this line up through Olympia and Tacoma. Um, there's some pretty interesting challenges there. That's going to be a much larger project. I mean, this line is going to be kind of crazy, uh, in a lot of ways. Um, like we have this area right here, for instance, we're just going to have to viaduct this whole thing. Cause I mean, this is like a a delta marshy area. I mean, a, a train would viaduct this. So I think even the interstate viaducts this section right here. So, you know, um, we'll have some interesting build challenges uh, when we do that Olympia Tacoma alignment. But anyways, I had fun uh, and I hope you did too. Um, so, Thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time.